You're not wearing glasses. Actually, I have my movies. Look, look. You are not These wearing glasses. You are not wearing I'm glasses. Wearing gla you're look not at wearing these. glasses. Look at these. I'm, I'm looking. You're not These wearing glasses. glasses. You're not These wearing glasses. glasses. You're not. These you're not glasses. wearing. Listen, I will tell you this over and over again. You are not wearing glasses, Abigail. But I am. No, no, no. no I'm quite serious. You're, you're not wearing glasses. Well, if you tell okay? me that, then you'll be lying. So this is my glasses. But you're not wearing. You're not wearing glasses. They're my glasses. Oh my gosh. Oh well. Welcome to today's daily devos. Abigail is clearly not wearing glasses. Obvious. Oh my gosh. Today we're looking at Hebrews chapter one. If you, you're not, you're not wearing glasses. Wearing so if you could go away and read today's Bible passage with your parents or your by yourself, you're not wearing glasses. I've told you this. No, no, you you aren't. You aren't. Okay. Listen, you aren't. Oh my goodness. She never wears glasses, Abigail. Never. I've never seen her with glasses in my life. Anyway. Please go away now and read today's Bible passage, Hebrews chapter 1. Go for it. Awesome! If you had a good time reading Hebrews chapter 1, I want you to note down anything God has said to you in today's Bible passage. Ooh. God said something really interesting to me whilst I was reading through today's Bible passage of Hebrews chapter 1, and I'm going to need my Bible for it. In Hebrews chapter 1, it says, the first few verses I found really interesting. Ooh. It says, long ago, God spoke many times and in many ways to our ancestors through the prophets. And now in these final days, he has spoken to us through his son. God promised everything to the son as an inheritance. And through the son, he created the universe. Wow. The son radiates God's own glory and expresses the very character of God. And he sustains, that basically is a fancy word, for he keeps everything by the mighty power of his command. When wow. he had cleansed us from our sins, when he had removed us from our sins, he sat down in the place of honour at the right hand of the majestic God in heaven. Yay! This shows that the Son is far greater than the angels, just as the name God gave him is greater than their names. You know, when you know the truth, when you know what is true, like, like here, we know that Jesus is the Son of God. When you know this truth, then it doesn't matter what lies are being told. It doesn't matter if you think Abigail is wearing glasses or not. We all know the truth. It's obvious what the truth is, isn't it? It's obvious. So, I want you guys to know that no matter what happens, know that the Bible is true. It doesn't matter what everyone else thinks. All that matters is that the Bible is true. And we need to stick to that. We need to believe that. That is why we know we are cleansed. We are, our sins are removed. They're washed off us. Because the Bible, in this, these first few verses of Hebrews chapter 1, it clearly says so. Yay! I'm going to pray now. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that your Bible, your word is true. Thank you that we can rely on your word, that we know that your word is a solid rock that we can make our foundation, that we can rely on and put and we can use as a support to us. God, I pray that you will help us to stay true to the Bible, that everything we believe as Christians will come from the Bible and not from anyone else, because your Bible is true. In Jesus' name, Amen. Awesome! I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!